Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're looking at the Fendora chart again. It's been hot and reeling. It's staying around, you know, under nine-tenths of a cent. It's lingering. We we have our, our bars set up. The retracement's all right. Um, I mean, even if you bring the retracement down a little bit, you know, you're still, you're still okay. Um, I feel like we still got maybe a little bit more down to go. Like I said, um, anything around the three quarters of a penny line is where you want to be snagging this up at. Like this is where you want to snag Fendora up at the, at the, at the bottom. Like it's, it's going to only go a little bit more down. Maybe this, maybe to, you know, seven tenths of a penny. Below this yellow line is a super break of the trend, which if it goes that way, that means a whale dumped. There's no way that it's going below this without a whale dumping or, you know, the market itself taking a major downturn. And if that's the case, then that's the case. I mean, you can't. The market turning down is the market turning down. Um, I still like Fendora. I still like it. So we're just going to keep going. Uh, I do think it may hit, it may hit two cents, but that's that's a, a stretch. I think it's going to try to to touch this one and a half cent mark again, um, or at least slowly move up in that direction. We might have a little bit of down, you know, obviously up and down, but we're going to start moving in that direction. We're a little sideways right now, but adoption's coming more. Uh, Fendora has what they call the yellow submarine coming out soon. Uh, I recommend looking into that. Uh, I don't want to go too much into details because it'll confuse you if you don't take the time and listen to it or read it. And just look into the yellow submarine from Fendora. Next, we're going to go into Unison. Um, it's been fresh. It's been reeling. Uh, it's staying around where it's trending. You know, like it stay, it's staying in that trending every time it goes below. It comes right back up. Uh, I feel like we're going to keep, you know, moving up a little bit down and then go up. I feel like profit to start to take profits. You want to go around the 40 cent mark. Um, but we have a chance to, you know, break even higher than that. Um, you know, the, 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 what you would call it? The, um, the, the high was like seven bucks in the bull run. So, I mean, 40 cents, look, you're just getting back to where, you know, 40, 45 cents above. You're going to have some breakouts, guys. Um, Unison is very is very popular right now on Twitter. Um, on the social media uh, side, you know, Unison and Fendora have been, have been hot on the chats. Um, Pre-search has kind of still been been hanging around you know we're still going a little sideways a little a little down we had a fat finger here both up and down i don't know what happened there but um yeah we're kind of still sitting around eight and a half cents i, re I recommend you guys get into pre-search it's the next google do not miss out if you're not buying pre-search in the next three years it's literally from 2020 to 2025 it's like not buying Google from 2000 to 2005. Like you're just, you're going to be behind. It's the next, it's the next Google. There's no debating it. You can argue with me about Brave and basic attention token, but it's not the same. It's not the same at all. Brave browser still allows those Google paid ads to show up in the search results. Pre-search does not. You are not having anything recorded with pre-search at all. Your searches are not recorded. Nothing. It's just a search engine, guys. You see the articles about, you know, law enforcement and agencies that are, that are you know, subpoenaing Google and all these Web2, um, you know, corporations for all their data about everybody. There's nothing for them to get here. There's nothing. So I highly recommend if you want to be 100% private with your searches and your, your internet use, look into pre-search. Um, and then next, we're going to go back into these Victoria VR lands that we touched on yesterday. The VR metaverse is the next thing. It's the next thing for the next bull run. Everybody was going crazy over Decentraland and Sandbox this bull run.
But you know what they weren't really going crazy on last bull run? Was Decentraland. Mana Tokens had an, an okay run last time. But it was too new. Nobody wanted to get into it. They didn't know what was going on. I was one of those people that bought mana, held, bought a little bit more during the bear. And I flourished during the bull. So here's where I put some of those mana, you know, profits. Actually, most of those mana profits went into Victoria VR because this is the next thing. And that was when Victoria VR came out. I mean, I'm down tremendously on Victoria VR because it was peak of the bull run. But that's, I wanted to get in early. I wanted to whitelist. I wanted to stake. I wanted to be part of this, um, this project early. I knew it was going to go somewhere. And it's going to continue to go somewhere. These lands are the cheapest metaverse lands on the market right now. They're even cheaper than NFT worlds. And I'm telling you guys, it's been this is this is my second bear. I've been through two bulls, two bears. Victoria VR is going to be huge next bull run. Huge. Guys, take advantage of these tips I'm giving you, please. I'm not necessarily saying go all in on any of them. I'm not saying go in today on them, but look into them. Do some research, please. Understand why you're getting into any of these projects if you are getting into these projects. But these are unknown projects that are huge sleepers and are going to go bonkers in the next bull run. Stay token, people.